You know what I absolutely love? When a game title that you really are interested in and hoping that will do well just gets absolutely fucking railed by corporate greed. Honestly, this video is probably going to be my last on the subject unless there is a miraculous comeback or, you know, drawback for Sony, which we all know is not going to happen. Sony really doesn't give a shit about what's happening to Helldivers. And as I'm sure you guys can tell, I'm not really good at this kind of rant slash informational video dump. It's not me. I, I don't do this kind of stuff. I usually do Monster Hunter and a little bit of Souls content, and it's usually just skits and comedy bits. It's nothing really serious. And I'm sure you guys can tell. I'm a bit out of my element here, but I love Helldivers, and I and I love the game. I love the people that I played with. I love the insane community that it, this game had, and I'm such a huge fan of everything that it achieved, like the whole making the game cheaper, making it accessible to different platforms. The crossplay was always really cool as well, making sure that the bugs were fixed and making sure that there was an active listening um, community management behind it. It was it was it was really nice, you know. I really could appreciate it. But obviously, Sony feels differently, and uh, it really seems like this entire Helldiver situation is not going to get any better, which is why I kind of just wanted to put the nail in the coffin, give you guys my take on what I'm doing, and send a quick message to Arrowhead Game Studios as well as to all of my fellow Helldivers. So, first, I've already changed my review to not recommended. Um, it's not and it's nothing groundbreaking like I pretty much have said what millions of people have said at this point. Um, I don't I don't condone this whole PSN shit. I think that they absolutely are ruining the game. I mean, they are quite literally soft banning millions of players across the world over 100 different countries who bought the game, didn't have to sign up with a PSN account, and after three months, boop! Gone. Absolutely gone. You cannot play the game anymore, and the three months that you spent grinding and having fun are all in the past now. That is unless you are willing to uh, go against uh, PSN's terms in uh, terms of service and create an illegal PSN account, which will likely get you banned. Uh, isn't that just fun? I, I really feel for the people in the countries that you know, can't get the PSN account. I mean, the whole problem with the data breaches as well, I don't trust Sony. I've, I haven't trusted them for years. I have plenty of other run-ins with them personally, but I'm not going to bore you with that because the underlying problem is not, oh, I don't want to make a Sony account. I mean, I, I don't trust them with my data, but the biggest problem for me is you can't just fucking ban people like this. This is essentially what you're doing. I wouldn't call it a, necessarily a scam, right? Because it has been confirmed that Steam is giving out refunds. Thank the fucking Lord. But it's just hilarious to see that... Sony has been quiet about this the whole time, and they didn't even confirm the fact that people were going to get refunds for this, right? They went ahead and they changed those sort of requirements saying, <laughs> to, to saying that it was optional. Like, at first, things were optional. You wouldn't necessarily have a PSN account. You wouldn't need it. But now it may be required for some games, changing it overnight because, you know, we're all stupid and we're not going to notice it, right? <laughs> Fuck me. Um, to Arrowhead Game Studios, guys, um, you, you put really good, awesome work into making this game a groundbreaking development in the gaming industry in 2024. Like, the game's super cheap. It's, it well, it's cheaper than most AAA ga games. It's playing incredible. It looks incredible. It's so fun to play by yourself and even more so with friends. And I've had an amazing time in over the 100 hours that I've been playing this game with people from my YouTube community, with friends that, you know, all over the world, uh, some of which, sadly, um, are part of countries that will no longer get access to the game. But honestly, thank you, because you've given us a great experience, and I am deeply saddened by the fact that you are just just as much of a victim as the people who are getting, you know, kicked out of the game, essentially. Um, it's, it's truly sad, but I hope you guys continue to make some great games. I hope this doesn't put too much of a dent in your finances. I, I am definitely willing to support you more moving forward, uh, which explains, kind of segues, what I'm doing about this whole situation. Um, like I said, I changed my review, and... And I've also uninstalled the game, but I don't really want to claim a refund. I know that Sony will get a percentage of the money that I used to purchase the game, right? But I still want that those funds to remain with uh, Arrowhead Game Studios and see if uh, if that helps. I'm not even fully sure if this is how it works, so I'm not going to lie. If you guys know more about this, by all means, do correct me in the comments. But basically, that's my stance on it. The game's uninstalled. Not really making any plans on coming back to this, um, unless Sony has a <laughs> change of heart. <laughs> can't say that without laughing, sorry, I really can't. Um, and yeah, definitely not gonna be talking about this any further. And to all my fellow Helldivers out there, I just want to make sure one thing, um, that, that people are aware of the fact that I'm not gonna hate people who decide to make the PSN account and continue to play. Like, at the end of the day, this is a fucking video game, and if you, after a long day of school or work and you're tired and you just want to play a game to unwind, then dude, I'm no 
nobody to tell you that you are a prick for doing so. By all means, this is what video games are about. It's about making a community and having fun, relaxing, unwinding, a little bit of escapism. That goes a long way. So, no hate to you guys. I hope you keep spreading managed democracy uh, for all the boys that are no longer going to partake in the diving, uh, including myself, which sucks because I really want to play this game. I love it. It's so much fun. I spend basically every moment of my free time where I'm not busy with other things playing Helldivers 2 with friends and with the community. And while I am taking this indefinite break from the game because I don't want to support Sony's decisions, I never say never. Maybe one day, months or years from now, I might feel like I want to play this game if it's even a thing. Yes, I hate Sony and I want to stand against them, but god damn, this game's just so good. I mean, I was definitely going to stay away from it for a while anyway because of the Elden Ring DLC, Monster Hunter Stories 1 re-release, and other titles that I'm excited for. But this is definitely has pushed me towards staying away as long as I can, if not just you know, not coming back entirely. Not really much to say on this topic besides what hundreds of thousands of other people have already said on reviews and other creators who've made videos on this. I mean, Moist Critical even went forward to talk about it himself. Um, so yeah, not much to say on the topic besides that. Both the devs and the players just got caught up in Sony's greed and now we're all paying the price for it. And isn't that just fun? Like I said, I have no hate if you want to continue to play the game. Um, I mean, if that's your tool to relax and wind down, I'm not going to judge you. I think you should be doing that for funsies. If it doesn't affect you, that's fine. I will absolutely tear your ass to bits if you say that none of this is a problem, because I've had the pleasure of interacting with a handful. It, within hundreds of comments, I've had a couple of people who are just brain-dead idiots who think that this isn't a problem, who think that, yes, selling a product to someone in a country that doesn't have a PSN and then removing them from them three months after without even giving them the guarantee of a refund is normal. What the actual fuck is wrong with you if you think this way? I'm sorry, I can't contain it. Don't feel like you're welcome in my goddamn channel because you're not. If you're here and you want to play the game and you say, listen guys, sorry, I'm going to continue playing, totally fine. I think you, you have to, you're in your right to do so, right? But if you're one of the people that thinks that the entire world is overreacting over something like this, then you are meat riding Sony's cock until you go into your data breach, right? It's all fun in games until it affects you because when your country doesn't get the rights to PSN, and you get booted off the games that you bought without knowing that if you're ever going to get a refund, then you're going to be pissed. When your data leaks onto hackers that will probably use it to fuck your life over and financially and otherwise, then you will not be happy. It turns out that when these problems affect you, some people will be a lot more <laughs> aware of what is going on with Sony and maybe change their perspective. And I pray that you change this sort of outlook on things because I don't want you to have to go through this. I'm not out here wishing bad upon people. I just want you to understand that there is a problem and it's not because it doesn't affect you that it doesn't affect millions of other players around the globe it doesn't affect the devs and it doesn't affect their future prospects really it fucks everybody over besides sony no in fact sony itself is not standing to gain much from this it's not like their psn numbers are going to skyrocket with all this incredibly bad press coming from all over the world it's truly odd to see such a great thing be ruined for no reason because nobody wins sony doesn't win we don't win the devs don't win we all lose and all for the sake of trying to get a couple more numbers in your second quarter. Isn't that just fun? And by the way, this isn't just a Sony issue. There are plenty of other companies that pull shit like this off. I mean, just look at NVIDIA or NVIDIA, however you want to say it. They're also playing some really dumb fucking games and fucking everyone over in the process, but we don't talk about it for some reason because, well, it hasn't affected something as popular as Helldiver as I'm guessing. But that's my final say on the matter. I want to go back to having good fun discussions about video games like Monster Hunter. I don't want to keep coming back to talk about dumb shit from dumb companies, honestly. I stood by the devs when the whole issue first happened, like when the game first released of, you know, there was just too many players and there weren't enough servers and people were getting caught in hours for a queue. So when that happened and they fixed it like a week after, I stood by them. Every single bug that's been happening in patches, I'm standing by you guys. To this day, I think Helldivers 2 is a fantastic game, but I hate to sound like your mother, but you probably just got tangled up with some bad influences and yeah. It's, it's just unfortunate. To all the people who are going to keep diving, go ahead, have your fun. I'm not going to hate on you. And to Sony, all you had to do was make it so that maybe if you signed up with a PSN account, you would get some exclusive armor, some exclusive cape, you know? And anything that would not fuck up everyone and instead would build a relationship with the devs that you're working with and would improve your connection 
to the players that you're trying to connect with and would incentivize them to do so. Or you could have just said, hey guys, if you can get a PSN account, then you're going to have to. But the people who don't, who are not able to get the PSN account, but already have been enjoying the game for three months, don't worry, you're good. I, I, I don't know. Maybe that would stir up a problem of people being jealous. But personally, I think that would have been okay. I just don't, I just really can't stand to play this game when you've banned so many people on such an unfair basis, expecting them to, <laughs> to do something that goes against your own legal terms for them to play a fucking video game. It's just nuts. I thank you all for watching the two, three videos that I've had ranting about Helldivers and their issues. Um, and if this is basically it between you and I, that's absolutely fine. If uh, the content that is in my channel doesn't interest you, dude, I appreciate you just being here listening to me. I appreciate all of the really interesting uh, points and conversations I've had in the comments, except with the dumbasses that say that this isn't an issue. And uh, I honestly hope that you have a great fucking day. It's been awesome to at least have a little bit of positive interaction with you guys in this entire mess. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to making my Monster Hunter funnies now. Uh, so yeah, as always, stay safe and until we meet again.